Hello students, welcome back again on the Real Minds book and I'll keep reminding you about this book that is a good book, get one and study for yourself. You can check online is Kibet Jesse, he wrote that book and for me I always want to appreciate His Majesty Waya Powerford for getting me a copy of this book and I'm so blessed, I'm so happy to have a copy. Today, we, we have dealt with social media under the Real Minds book. That's the book. It's on the screen. We have dealt with um, the benefits of social media um, in this book. There are more um, chapters that we need to look at, but I decided to leave the, the social media aspect of where I've gotten to, I think it was um, episode six. I want to leave it there but today we're going to continue with communication communication and communication is the key communication is the key now I've been able to give you a brief on social media the benefit of social media now I want us to discuss communication because when you merge uh, communication and social media you understand what I'm talking about let's go and i know you understand communication everybody probably understand communication and it's about communicating something to somebody to be clear about basically that's communication but let's let's look into into this topic um, quickly to draw attention to a mice event to draw attention to a mice event for the intended audience many resources and media that can be used to reach the target group and to pass on important information so communication is a key to a life that is successful to a business that is successful to an event that is successful anything that is successful without communication is not going to work because whatever you're doing you have a group to target are you selling you have a group to target are you cooking you have a group to target so when you don't do the proper communication to those people there won't be any success so communication on how to this topic is a key in our life that you need to consider so what actually is communication what actually is communication according to the business dictionary is communication business dictionary is saying that it's communication and when you hear communication is about communicating a particular message to the target audience to the target audience to the people that those information is targeting if the voice is targeting the entire universe is targeting it's a group of people so your message should have a target your message to have a target two way two way process or reaching mutual understanding in which participant not only exchange information news ideas and feelings but also create and share meaning in general communication is a means of connecting people or places you see in business it is a key function of management on uh, organization an organization cannot operate without communications between levels department and employees so you realize communication has been the tool in every aspect every aspect of our life in every aspect of our life any angle everywhere is communication when you don't you don't handle your communication tools well that's where you're going to lack sources so communication is very vital in this journey. She understood.
communication is very vital in this journey. Now, within the definition, we see two ways of communication. On the, on the one hand, communication is a tool to get people to connect. And on the other hand, communication is a management tool In the other hand, is what to get what hand communication is a tool to get people to connect. You get people to connect. In the other hand, it's a managemental tool to get it well, so that the business can have success. So that the business can have success. So without proper communication, without proper keys, without proper tool. Business cannot have success if there's no communication. That is why in in, in, in the corporate world, there's most of the time meetings before execution, meetings before execution, meeting before execution, meeting before executing the particular project or particular thing ahead of them. So without meeting, an event cannot be held. Without meeting, even a business cannot be held. Without meeting. Forget meeting for when meeting that's where every information is shared across. That's where we communicate. That's where we communicate. Let's look at this definition. Another definition more focused on event. Look at it. Communication is a means by by which information and opinion about an event are transferred from one person to another. It may be in the form of words, pictures, orally, or combined all of this. So, so, so communication is used to inform event stakeholders, change their attitudes, and ultimately to encourage a change in behavior. Is either attend the event. Communication can be both deliberate and unintended so these are things that you need, you need to consider because it should be a proper communication and it can be in the form of anything if you want to make it in the form of picture it depends on the information that you want to have on the picture which should communicate well and you should communicate the exactly thing that you want to communicate out and should be well structured. So these are things that we need to consider. Under the Real Minds book, we are seeing communication is very important. It's very important. Now, this this last definition clearly shows the that communication is a tool used to influence the attitude and behavior of people. That's why if you study politicians, they can give you a sugar-coated information and that information will inform your behavior and even inform your decision of go on voting. So communication is very important. That is why um, if you study carefully, all of us are moved by words. All of us. All of us are moved by what we hear. I'm moved by what we are reading. I'm moved by what we are studying. I'm also moved by this information to talk to you. And this is communicating to me. And I'm sharing with you. You see, you, you put it on paper, it is clearly stating and clearly defining how you handle this. And I'm sharing with you. You see, and I'm sharing with you. An example of this is that specialized communication about the event is put into place in order to convince the target group to buy tickets. So if you don't put your proper communication tools, the, the, the accessories, the groceries, whatever you need to make sure 
you sell this event if you don't put them in place you can't even get your tickets to be bought so you realize that communication is a is the greatest tool for us to discuss now our next video we're going to deal with communication goals after communication goals we will we, we, we will deal with um, um, touch point touch point and so on well there are more to share on communication but our next video we're going to deal with communication goals what you achieve when you're communicating what to achieve see you in our next episode don't forget to like this video comment and share and the most important subscribe to Eracom TV so that our next episode when we upload because you have clicked on the notification button you're gonna have a notification in your mail to check it out see you in our next episode